Today in this video we are going to learn why a free electron can't absorb a photon. One question may have come to your mind that why a electron absorbs all the energy of a photon in photoelectric effect whereas in Compton effect it doesn't. In photoelectric effect when radiation of certain suitable frequency is being incident on the surface of a matter, the electron bounded in the surface absorbs the entire energy of the photon and is being emitted from the surface. But in Compton scattering, the incident photon interacts with the free electron, which is not bounded to the surface and is scattered at an angle with the original direction, with a frequency lower than the initial, while the electron receives an impulse and begins to move. To prove that why this happens, let us check what will happen if a free electron absorbs a photon completely. Let us consider a free electron which is at rest and it absorbs a photon of energy h nu having momentum h by lambda equal to h nu by c where lambda is the wavelength and nu is the frequency of the incident photon h is Planck's constant and c is the speed of light so here a photon strikes a free electron the electron is said to be free in a sense that it is not bounded to the atom and the beyond the influence of nucleus after absorbing the photon the electron moves with a momentum p along x axis now let us calculate the initial and final momentum of the system. Now the initial momentum of the system before interaction is P initial equal to momentum of the photon plus momentum of the free electron which is equal to H nu by C plus M0 into 0 since the electron is at rest so it has zero velocity initially which is equal to H nu by C and final momentum of the system that is P final equal to momentum of the electron only which is equal to PE say According to the law of conservation of linear momentum, the total momentum of an isolated system remains conserved. That is, initial momentum of the system must be equal to the final momentum of the system. So, P initial equal to P final. This implies P e equal to H nu by C. We call it equation number 1. Now, let us calculate the initial and final energy of the system. The initial energy of the system is E initial equal to energy of the photon plus energy of the free electron having rest mass m0 which is equal to h nu plus m0 c square where m0 is the rest mass of the electron and the final energy of the system is e final equal to energy of the electron moving with momentum p only which is equal to e e say. according to the law of energy conservation the total energy of an isolated system remains conserved that is initial energy of the system is equal to final energy of the system this implies that E equal to H nu plus M0 C square. We call it equation number 2. From the theory of relativity, we get the expression for relativistic energy E of a particle having rest mass M0 and momentum P is given by the relation E equal to under root M0 square C raised to the power 4 plus P square C square. Squaring on both sides, we get E square equal to M0 square C raised to the power 4 plus P square into c square from equation 2 we get another expression for e is e equal to h nu plus m0 c square this implies that h nu plus m0 c square whole square equal to m0 square c power 4 plus p square c square simplifying we get on the left hand side h square nu square plus twice h nu m0 c square plus m0 square series to the power 4 and on the right hand side we get m0 square c power 4 plus p e square c square again from equation 1 we have p equal to h nu by c substituting we get h square nu square plus twice h nu m0 c square plus m0 square c power 4 equal to m0 square c power 4 plus h square nu square by c square into c square which is equal to h square nu square plus twice h nu m0 c square plus m0 square c power 4 equal to m0 square c power 4 plus h square nu square. Cancelling the similar term on both sides we get the final relation as twice h nu m0 c square equal to 0 which is impossible as h is a constant and it can't be 0 so h is not equal to 0 and nu is also a constant and it also can't be 0 so nu not equal to 0 and m0 and h is the rest mass of the electron and the Planck's constant which is again can't be zero so the expression twice h nu m0 c square equal to zero is impossible 
This gives us two conclusions. Whether the law of conservation of momentum and energy is failed or this process is impossible. That is, a free electron can't absorb the complete energy of a photon. Since the law of conservation of momentum and energy are universal, so we shall accept the second argument. That is, a free electron can't absorb the entire energy of a photon. So, for an electron to conserve momentum, it can't absorb a photon. This is for today's video. Thank you. Please subscribe. And if you have any doubts, please write in the comment box.